Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Mathematics and really interesting quick and relaxing challenge today too and we multiply this 2 by 3 plus 2 times 2 in parentheses. We have basic addition, basic multiplication, so everyone learned this stuff in the third grade, so that's fantastic. Go ahead and put your answer down into the comment section, what do you think is the correct answer? We have A, B, C and D, so choose one option, what do you think is the correct and write your option down into the comment section. Let's check out a supercomputer in our head, it will be really interesting to, to, to check our answers here in just 30 second. So first of all I want to rewrite this challenge right here, so we have 2, we multiply this 2 by 3 plus 2 times 2. Okay, here's our challenge. And a lot of students don't know what is the correct order to do this problem, because right here we have multiplication, right here we have addition, right here we have multiplication, so obviously whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? But in terms of math we should know what is one and only one correct order of operation, because if you start from multiplication we have our one answer, if you start with, the, uh, with addition we have another answer, and it turns into a big argument, so in math we should know what is the correct order to do this problem. And for this question, for example, let's look at this PMDMC order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world. So in this, it looks like um, our first interpretation. In this first interpretation, let's solve this question in this, uh, according to this PMDMC. So we have 2, 3 plus 2 times 2. Okay, here is our challenge. And according to this PMDMC, uh, which works from the, in a strict order from the top to the bottom, so the first step of the highest priority has parentheses, and the lowest priority, addition and subtraction. So first we evaluate parentheses, the, the expression inside parentheses, then we evaluate exponent, then we evaluate multiplication division group, and the last step is addition and subtraction group. Okay? So let's do this right now. The first step is parentheses. Let's scan where do we have this parentheses. Let's look at our expression. So right here we have constant, and right here, yeah, we have a, right here we have parentheses. So it's really great, because we should start from this from these parentheses, so parentheses at, at first, parentheses at first. Let's scan what we have inside parentheses, because in, inside parentheses we have a complicated expression, we have addition and multiplication, and we should know what is the first step, addition or multiplication. And for this answer, let's look at this PMDMC order of operation. We have addition and multiplication, so this is our first step, I want to write it, and of course we have multiplication right here, yeah, we have multiplication in our expression, and we have addition, yeah, we have two, two steps, but what is the first step, what is the previous step? As I told before, we go from the top to the bottom, so parentheses the highest priority and the lowest priority addition and subtraction. This multiplication part is in the middle, okay, so we should go, uh, is our first, is this our second step? Because we go from the top to the bottom and the third step is, is addition, so we should multiply it first, because multiplication is before addition. According to this paper, multiplication is all the time before before addition, so we should multiply 2 times 2. Okay, so we have 2, we multiply this by 3 plus 2 times 2 equal to equal to 4, yeah? We still have parentheses, and as I told before, third step is addition inside parentheses, so we have 2, and we multiply this 2 by 3 plus 4, which is equal to 7, okay? 3 plus 4 equal to 7. And right now we do need our order of operation, because this is very basic multiplication, uh, we have multiplication right here, but doesn't matter. We have very simple expressions, 2 times 7 equal to equal to 14, which is option option D. Uh, but I want to say a few words about this PMDMC, we don't have exponent in our case, we don't have uh, division, we don't have subtraction, yeah, we have only parentheses, inside parentheses we have multiplication division, where we, we should start with this multiplication then addition, and the last step is multiplication, which is very obvious for everyone, because we, when we complete this part with, with parentheses, then two times this parentheses, two times the value of this, the exact value for this parentheses, after our simplifying steps, we have our correct answer, 14, which is option D. So let's write our answer, let's write our answer, this is option, option D is a correct answer. Definitely, don't feel bad if you got this wrong, write your thought about this challenge, write your thought about your answer, what do you think is the correct answer, what do you think about this solution, how can you solve this, what, what is your thought about this challenge, and what is your thought about this question overall, so wish you all the best, see you next videos, and of course, if this video is helpful in any way, don't forget to like and subscribe, and that definitely helped me out for this particular video, so see you in the next videos.